Nobody knows what causes Parkinson's disease. There isn't even a diagnostic test, not a lab test, not an MRI, not an x-ray to let you know whether you have it or not. And it gets worse and worse and worse. The medicines work less and less well. And it's incurable. So for people like me who have Parkinson's disease, the one ray of hope is brain research. So, one, two, three. Yo, homies, listen up. Let's put our brains together, brothers. Put our brains together, sisters. Put our brains together and support brain research. My name is Sharon Ka. They all knew me. I used to be the spokesman for the university. But you know you've got a problem when your writing gets small and you have a little tremor and a tendency to fall and your posture is rigid and your pace is slow and your irritated colleagues say, come on, let's go. Well, my substantia nigra lost its pigmentation and I became a parkie. What a lamentation. But I'll fight it and you'll never see capitulation. We're going to put our brains together, brothers. Put our brains together, sisters. Put our brains together and support brain research. Well, it's medicine, of course. But the dosage is tricky. To get it just right, you have to be picky. If you don't get enough, your feet will freeze you. In the middle of the night, a cramp will seize you. And just about the time to get enough to please you, that infernal compound gives you dyskinesia. Of all the things, the one that makes me the maddest is those bottles designed by a psychopathic sadist. You struggle with the lid till your face turns blue. Then you stab at the seal till you finally break through. Only to discover that some idiotic jerk has stuffed it full of cotton. It takes hours of work to extract every fiber, shred by shred. Whoever did that has rocks in the head. Becky Farley has a theory that we all should move big. That's about as likely as a flying pig. Because we're parkies and we're stubborn. We like tentative and small. We festinate, procrastinate, and barely move at all. Move big! Flying big! Move big! Flying big! When your meds quit working, there's deep brain stimulation. Shows a lot of promise. Here's the situation. They drill a hole in your skull based on a calculation that they believe will be your salvation. And then they spend months in recalibration. It can ease your symptoms, but I've heard it said, Parkies need DBS like they need a hole in the head. The research these days is focused on stem cells. Shows a lot of promise, but I'd like to see them cells in clinical trials. This afternoon, I am tired of waiting. I want answers soon. They bailed out the bankers and the brokers and such. Can't they bail us out? Is that asking too much? I say research. You say now. Research! Now! Research! Now! What do we want? Research! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Research! When do we want it? Now! Well, our hands are shaky and our pace is slow. We have hallucinations and our feet won't go. But if we can laugh at ourselves without much fuss, we may have Parkinson's. It'll never have us. We're going to put our brains together, brothers. Put our 